All right, everyone, welcome to Trades Tutor, your home for math and science videos, or math and science simplified, we should say. Today, we're going to go through calorific value. We're just going to go through the basics. And once again, this is the first of a five part series on calorific value. Uh, this will be the introduction, and then we're going to go through natural gas, propane, butane, and then some random ones in the in the fifth video. So we'll just go through the basics for right now. Okay. So first thing we need to do is define our variables. And there are two variables. The first one is volume. And what we're going to deal with is either cubic meters or cubic feet. Now what you can see, this little animation here shows you these pictures show you that a cubic meter is a lot bigger than a cubic foot and we know that but this becomes confusing when we get to calorific values and how to work with it but for now take a look what you'll see is a cubic foot fits inside a cubic meter we know that the idea is how many of them fit inside a cubic how many cubic feet fit inside a cubic meter well as it turns out one cubic meter is equal to 35.31 cubic feet or 35.31 cubic feet fit inside a cubic meter meaning it's that much larger okay so that's our first variable now the second variable is heat energy and we specify this two ways as well we can say kilowatts if we want or we can say BTUs or a British thermal unit and the idea, the idea here is which one is bigger and how much bigger? Well, we take our kilowatt, bring down our BTU, and as it turns out, it takes 3,412 BTUs to get one kilowatt, meaning the kilowatt is a much larger. Okay? So those are our two things, volume and energy. And then we're going to work with those. So, before we do, we should get to the actual definition of calorific value. There you go. So, what it is is the amount of energy or the amount of heat, we could say, produced by the combustion of a specific volume. So, the volume is either a cubic meter or a cubic foot, and the energy is going to be either BTUs or kilowatts. So, for example, if we take a cubic foot of natural gas and burn it, say in a combustion chamber for, for an appliance, a natural gas-fired appliance, we'll get 1,000 BTUs of heat. That means the calorific value of natural gas is 1,000 BTUs per cubic foot. We have a heat energy in BTUs, and we have a volume in cubic feet. So we might have it written like that. Now. It's not the only way that we can write this. There's three other ways. We can use all the variables in their different forms. So we could have kilowatts per cubic foot. We could have BTUs per cubic meter. We could have kilowatts per cubic meter. All four of those represent the calorific value of natural gas expressed in different ways. So the idea is here, how do we go from one to the other and translate between all of them? And that's what part two of the, the video series is going to show you. We're going to go through natural gas and we're going to generate all those four numbers starting with 1,000 BTUs per cubic foot. All right, I hope this helped you guys. Um, oh, one last thing. One reminder, apparently. It is the energy per volume or the amount of energy given a certain amount of volume. All right, so I hope this helps. Watch the next video for natural gas. And thanks for watching. Have yourselves a great day. Take care.